what something about the constitution you're the like it's um acknowledged yes acknowledged yes so. acknowledged yes so we're technically married <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. I can't believe I just said that. Weird. Um, we're at the Fakory days. My name you is. Know, so please. Uh, okay, as a celeb that you are now. My name is Choma, and this gentleman, not so gentle, is Sheon Fakory Day, Choma's husband. And today we'll be filming, or we are filming um a short episode which would be about our one month being married so yeah we've been married for one month and it's been such an interesting ride we got married traditionally on the 4th of april mm -hmm. in 2021 and he came all the way to anambra state and his guys and friends and family showed up in anambra like he was in fact they said that well you know that um like sentimentally uh our wedding anniversary is going to be every 22nd of may yeah because definitely. that's you know my birthday yeah that's that has always been the plan yeah so, so. but people do oh i've been traditionally married so 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 they yeah so i mean yeah, talking about the traditional marriage you know it's been one month yeah you know, now of awesome experience yeah uh-huh uh-huh that's some experience. <laughs> so how has it been? How has it been, you know, from you know, so because me, I have a lot to say, so maybe we just start from you. Okay, so one month has been good. Um actually very good. We've had our first fair share of battles, you know, when we actually want to break each other's heads. Really? Well, yeah, well yeah, me, yeah. I don't know about you, but me sometimes I want to break your head. Okay. okay. <laughs> but um I don't know, for some reasons to is it has always been or it has been very easy. Um I think right from when we were like dating, we've always had a very understanding relationship where we have like friends, we're really good friends. So, you know, even when we have disagreements, our disagreements are very easy to reconcile. So it's not it's not that crazy or it's not we've not had any issues that, you know, we've not been able to settle. Uh, so up, let's just up. say that uh, uh, maybe you know I've been man enough, you know, to actually make some you know things look pretty much you know easy. And um, I mean, you must acknowledge that I'm actually you know quite patient. What do you think? Uh, you try, but don't give like I think you're giving no, I'm yourself. Permitted to blow you're my giving trumpet, yourself so. too much credit, my guy. Uh? <laughs> it's not that. No. Okay. You're giving yourself too much credit. All right. But no how problem. has it been for you, though? Uh, so for me, eh, I think it's actually a different ball game because um, uh, yeah, we've been friends, you know, before uh, we eventually got married, and then you know when we got married, like a number of things, you know, felt you know differently, and um, some things that might you know, naturally not be an issue, you know, now. It's you know something that you have to talk about and mm -hmm. make sure that you clarify, mm -hmm. you know well I know but uh, I think you know I'm really quite happy you know doing this because it is really you know I'm teaching me in a different lesson entirely mm -hmm. and um, I'm beginning to see things in a different scope yeah. and you know perspective you know like that so I think you know uh, I think you know, I will say that I'm doing well you know with you know everything because I know that really like it's not you know um as simple as you know people see it but i think that you know if we have two people who are actually are determined to make things work mm -hmm. i think that's where it really comes from and you know uh in this kind of you know relationship in marriage i think one key thing is forgiveness mm -hmm. having to let go of some certain things and you know like i love to say that uh Every relationship, every marriage ends where forgiveness, you know, ends. And, so yeah. as long as, you know, you are always ready to forgive me, you know, when I'm, you know, in my 
what's it called and you're as not long so as, patient <laughs> as long as you know i'm also willing to say okay you know what uh, this guy that is always you know crying on top of my and then waking me up in the middle of night with you know cry you know like that and say okay that's, just... that's don't don't do that uh, you know let that was at the beginning you know we don't, don't do that know that you cry cry baby. no a <laughs> lot no okay yeah i cry a lot Mm-hmm. Yeah, so but I mean, it's actually so you know cute because uh, when I wake up or when you wake me up with you know such words, and I'm like, okay, my God, what is what exactly is this? I mean, <laughs> so, but, I mean, but it's all good. It's a uh, it's an experience mm-hmm. that you know really I like the process. I like the journey because the way it is now wasn't the way it was the first week of marriage mm-hmm. and i can see that there's tremendous you know, progress mm-hmm. yeah. in everything that we're doing so mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. good well spoken my husband <laughs> um, okay so i was going to ask does it feel like a different experience where well, you already answered that so what are some of the challenges that we have faced being married uh, okay so i mean for me, you know, over time I've been that, you know, quite independent, you know, person, especially when it comes to the decisions that I take. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and uh, now I notice that um, I've still not completely, you know, let go that, you know, character of, you know, me having to, you know, decide or taking decisions, mm-hmm. you know, on spot decisions and um forgetting the fact that oh yeah i'm married now mm-hmm. so before i do anything i should be able to consult you to say that hey babe i mean so a lot of times i know that i've taken decisions that ah, i'll just remember that look i mean i should have told this way so is it that i come back to you and make it look like as if i've not taken that decision <laughs> and they make it look like so I, i'll just make you whoop into that you know because i mean i have to be very careful because if i tell you and I've taken this decision, and if I now tell you and then you think otherwise, it will be difficult to, to yeah. rescind mm-hmm. you know, that you know, decision that I've taken. And also, I have to make sure to, you know... Manipulate me. Well, well I, don't want to use, I don't want to use that word manipulation. So, but I will make sure that, you know, you... And I'll try to make you align mm. you know, mm. with, you know, what's it called. <laughs> so, I think that is wisdom, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing now. You're trying to manipulate your words too as well. Um, sure. For me, I think one of the major things that I've battled being married to you is... So I always say that last year was my year of healing where you know I did a lot of self-work and self-growth and all that. And you know there are some things that you feel like, oh, I've already dealt with. I don't deal with seeking validation, needing assurances you know my insecurities or the insecurities and then i found out that you know just around when we're planning to get married around the traditional wedding and then the, probably the first week or maybe right into the second week i started seeing those things come up again and mm. that's you know <laughs> the thing where he was saying about me waking up in the middle of the night to cry you know, I was having a lot of anxiety and panic attacks and I was asking myself, you know, am I doing this wife thing properly? So, you know, am I, am I, is he happy? You know, I'm moving all the way from Lagos to Ibadan. I, um, I come from a very close knit family where, you know, I'm always speaking to my dad or my siblings and all that. And then I'm leaving all these to meet this handsome young man. Mm-hmm. And handsome man, not handsome young man. Okay, sorry, this handsome man and you know it was just like too many things and am i good enough and i'm asking myself all these questions and um right in the middle of our sleep i'll wake up with a panic attack and i'll start crying wailing not even crying you know those kind of tears like, oh. <laughs> yeah that type yeah, i'm going to be like oh my god <laughs> and then yeah. i wake him up you know the truth is sometimes you know when those things happen i'm always like can i just you know just carry myself out of this room and then just go into another room to continue my sleep. But then I just remember that, okay, really, you know what? I mean, uh, what will a gentleman do in this you know, case or in this scenario? And then I remember that I'm a gentleman. Then I have to just, you know, kill that sleep that I'm what? I mean, yeah, but you've been actually, you've, you've tried, really. I think you've been able to keep up 
with this but um well i think we've grown just as you said the difference between when we started and now a month later has actually been it's really a different ball game like when you guys are dating and being married it's mm-hmm. like a whole different ball game mm-hmm. and you know when people say it you don't yeah like, you know you don't you know, believe you know, them i used to then, say that thing that um when people say that oh really everything you know was different i'm like okay really what exactly is mm-hmm. different and then I tell people that, ah, you've been friends now. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you marry, nothing is, is not changing. It's thing? not like as if, you know, you're in a right box. Now you're Surely, living with the person I think, you know, uh, there are a lot more things that, you know, you have to factor, mm-hmm. you know, into your plan, into yeah. your projection when you're married. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you're single, the fact that you're still single, you can actually take you some, you know, decisions independently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But by the time, you know, you're married, you know, you have to you know, like really come look at the other person's, yeah. you know, side of things. I remember when we uh, were talking about, you know, the venue uh, for uh, the, the wedding, white wedding mm-hmm. and all like that. And they were talking about a number of things. I myself, you know, I have, you know, this thing in my mind. You have a different world mm-hmm. because so we just have to be able to, uh, know a, lo- a number of times you have to say, okay, you know what, we can do it your way. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes I have to say that, okay, you know what, babe, let us, you know, mm-hmm. do it your exactly. own way. You know, just make compromises. Like, yeah, but a number of times, you know, we feel like, oh, I don't really want to let go of my mm-hmm. own, what's it called? But, you know, some way, we just have to, Figure you know, um, reach that, you know, compromise, compromise exactly. and make things work. So, exactly. yeah, it's been good. It's, it's good been one. good. So, yes, we've spoken about how we've been able to cross the hurdle, being patient, having to communicate, making compromises, which really is the cliche of relationships, to mm-hmm. be honest. We've just been one month, but I think, I think sometimes it's really the experience that matters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so moving on, what are your expectations from this relationship? Uh, so this really, marriage? so really, I mean, uh, my expectations are just you know quite simple. I just want to continually be friends, you know, with you. Mm-hmm. I want you to, to continue to, you know, be my you know best friend, you know, forever. I want mm-hmm. uh, also actually you know grow in love. Uh, together to do things together uh to actually you know um achieve a lot you know um together yeah. so and i really want to you know just have a uh, enjoy you know a peaceful life even as a public servant i know and also i know that the reason why we've decided to do this is also to encourage you know um other persons, you know, out there, mm-hmm. uh, that okay. Look, marriage is not rocket science, yeah. and it is not, you know, um, something that it is not. It doesn't happen. Successful marriages don't happen by magic. Exactly. It happens by consciousness. Mm-hmm. It happens by you know putting efforts, you know, into it. It happens by saying no to yourself. Yeah. You know, and killing you know that you know self centeredness. Mm-hmm. You know that it's perhaps default mm-hmm. in you know, in the uh, mind or in the life of uh, most of us, you know, like that. So I really want it, you know, I really want it to keep it, I want to keep it simple. Mm-hmm. And I want people to be able to share, you know, from my vulnerability. Mm-hmm. I don't want people to see me as perfect. I don't want to, people to see me as, you know, like I'm a spirit and, you know, everything is just, you know, good all and you know, good and rosy about mm-hmm. me. I want to be able to share my you know scars mm-hmm. as much as i share my stars with the people scars yeah. and stars share. Yes, it. I mean, <laughs> um yeah i think we share the same sentiments to be honest we've really always shared a lot of things um from this relationship as you said keep being friends i really really think that that's the number one for us and that's why we've not broken our heads since this past one month um because street or like when I think about when we, we have disagreements and how we reconcile, it's just funny because, like, how did you come from here to, like, this other uh-huh. thing? But it's always interesting to see. It's always interesting to see someone that you are, you feel, no, will I say complete? Because I don't really like that word. I don't like to say that somebody completes you because you should complete yourself. But the person is an extension of you, you get. So it's mm. not hard because you guys connect so much. Um, so I just hope that we don't lose that. I, you know, whether it's intellectual, physically, spiritually, emotionally, whatever it is, we are both aligned. 
So I want us to keep being aligned. Mm. Um, and as you've said to as well, for me, I'm all about being vulnerable. I like to be truthful. I don't want to, I don't want people to, you know, yeah, we post the nice pictures of us having good times and all that, but it's not being that, you know, I just said how I wake up and I cry, you know, because of, I think I'm not doing this right. But having a partner who you can communicate with, who, who, who you can talk about your fears with, who you can tell, oh, this is what I'm going through, and the person is willing to stand by you and help you and hold your hands, I think really that's what matters. So I hope that we continue to have the same sort of communication or even better, and we're able to understand ourselves more. And besides, experience is the best teacher, really. So the more we grow, the better our relationship will become. Yeah. So I really hope that for us. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, so, so that brings us to the end of this. Uh, yep. Is it short episode? <laughs> Hopefully, no, it's short. Uh, I don't think it's short. We plan so that our then, videos will not be too long, and we'll just be able to pass across yeah, our so messages. You guys, you know, stay. Uh, how do they say? Stay tuned. For stay more. tuned, you know, to this channel. Yes. So as we bring you more, um, beautiful content, you know, of our journey, mm -hmm. uh, together. We love you. God bless. God bless.